Well, guys, it's official. We are in for the 2024 No Name Nationals. And uh, that's, that's huge for us. But since the announcement broke uh, last night, a lot of folks have been asking about the car and maybe new to the channel and stuff. So let's talk about what we're taking to the No Name Nationals. Is a nut job. For those that are not familiar with it, this is our 1963 and a half Ford Galaxy that we call Legacy. And uh, you don't have the motor in it right now. It's in the garage, getting a few upgrades, and we'll go over those details. But let me give you a look at this car and talk about it as we walk around it. So this is a 1963 and a half Ford Galaxy. She riding high because there's no motor in her. Uh, that we call Legacy. You can see her nicely painted right there. And all this is hand lettering. It's not stickers. Um, I purchased this car from the original owner in 2018 who ordered the car new in 1963, waited on it to be produced, and then went and picked it up. He ordered it the way that he wanted it because he wanted a, well, let's just say he wanted a car that he could go out and play with. And this has been a race car since the day that it was brought home. Now, of course, I re-litter it about every season because sponsors change, but ones that usually always stay with us, Cashman's Barbecue, of course, the name of the car, Legacy. But the ones we're extremely proud of, Mission 22, of course, Dragon Racing Fuels is always part of the team. Uh, and then the Gary Sinise Foundation. If you don't know who they are, Mission 22 and the Gary Sinise Foundations is some awesome veteran uh, organizations. Uh, Gary Sinise does veterans and first responders, build homes for homeless vets, uh, disabled vets, all kind of stuff, and first responders. Mission 22, uh, their mission is to help vets with PTSD and traumatic brain injury. All right, so let's take a look at the car on the inside. And again, excuse her, she's a mess because well, we got it taken apart. Four speed, always, always, always. For the most part, it's just like it was raced in 1963, uh, all the way through the 60s. Not much has changed on the car. I did add roll bars. I still got to put the door bars in. I just never done it. But I did add a, a roll bar just so I could put a good five-point harness in it. And I took the back seat out. Uh, and, of course, me and my wife made this awesome headliner here at home. There's videos of it. But it's mostly uh, just like it was, including the big, you know, the big foot gas pedal. This car, this car is a very much a living piece of history. Um, Melvin raced this car throughout the 60s and 70s and into the 80s. And then it was parked. I picked it up uh, from its resting place and brought it back to life. The car was is and always will be fe powered just because that's the way the car always was and um i just want to keep the history of the car alive more than i want the car could be made faster with modern power plants we know that modern drive trains the car could be made faster modern you know components on the car carbon fiber and all this stuff. We know it could be made faster, but it's not about squeezing every bit out of this car. I'm building a vehicle that's a purpose-built race car that I'm going to try to get to go as fast as humanly possible, and it'll have all the doodads and modern stuff on it, and that's fine for that. This, this is meant to show you what racing in 1960s and early 70s would have been like. 
so I want to keep that alive. In that spirit, it's always going to be FE powered. It's always going to have a four speed and a nine inch rear end. It's just the way it's going to be. I'm, I'm not changing that for no one or nobody. Uh, some of the things that changed over the years, a uh, few was for my comfort and uh, make me feel better is I did a, a, a roll bar. I stood up with the door bars in. But I done that really so I could add a good safe belt in it. When Melvin raced this car, it had lap belts in it. I mean, that's just the way they raced back then. So I just felt like I wanted better seat belts. So I uh, upgraded the belts. I need to check the cert date on them to see if they're in certification still. I, I don't know if they are or not. I got to look. Um, the suspension, some changes were made on the suspension that was not my choice. It was to fit the rules. Um, where the car was being raced for the last few years. Uh, we are going to go the other way and go back more 60s looking with it and get it back close to the ground. I don't like how the car sets up in the air now, uh, but the last place that it was being raced had a ride height rule, so it had to be, uh, it had to have its 4x4 lift kit under it. Uh, it's going back to a factory height. Uh, so it does appear more to be in the 60s. Now, I still got good suspension under under it. But um, what else did we change? I actually added the fiberglass hood. Um, that was purely a vanity thing for me, this car. Uh, the entire time Melvin raced it, it had a flat hood on it. Uh, and that's fine. I actually still have the flat hood for it. But... There's just something about these teardrop hoods. They just look right. So uh, that was a little bit of my vanity jumping in there is one of the things I changed. Um, it is not running a Ford four-speed anymore. Uh, it's running an aftermarket four-speed, but it's still an H pattern four-speed. Still has ears on the side. If you look at the transmission, you would think it is a top loader, but it's all... It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Um, it is currently on a big tire. By definition, a big tire. Uh, it has always been on what is considered a big tire by definition. It's on a 29. And most places now consider that a big tire. I think at one time it was considered a small tire, but now it's considered a big tire. So, we are going to have to make a change there i've never ran uh what everybody refers to as a small tire now a 2018 5 i've never ran that tire i've always ran a 29 tire so i'm going to have to probably play with some gearings and do some testing and and get it figured out but for the most part this is what we're bringing to the no name nationals is legacy is coming uh it will have a fresh probably about by the end it'll have a uh it'll still be fe powered uh we're putting together a fresh fe for it now and of course no name nationals in september so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we don't hurt it between now and then uh but uh this is her and all of her lovely glory some of the uh Paint work may change on it between now and then. Uh, probably going to take the super stock uh, lettering off the sail panel. Uh, there's a sponsor that was on board for a while at the back of the car that's coming off the car. So there's going to be a few things that change there. Uh, some of the things that I'm not sure about yet that I've got to reach out and find out about. Again, this car is pretty much the way it raced in the 60s with the exception of a few minor things uh some of the things i got to find out about is uh what might i have to do to meet ahra rules i think the car would pass but i'm going to dig into that a little more because there may be some upgrades that need to be made and honestly and truly at this very moment i don't know how fast it's going to be it may be it, a lot of the rules 
uh, as far as requirements to the car are based around how fast it runs. If you don't, if you don't know that, and uh, right now I don't know how fast it's going to run. I know how fast it's ran in the past. I know by the math what it should run, but we're probably adding another 150 horsepower to the engine combination that's going back in here over what was in there and i'm going to do a little tweaking here and there and i don't think that changes a lot honestly because we're not talking about a four second car here let's be honest we're not talking about a uh uh you know we're not talking about parachutes and all that stuff right now i don't know until we make passes with it i don't think the car is going to be fast enough to need things like a parachute and and all that stuff I don't know. I don't think it will. At the end of the day, it's still a 4,000 pound car. You know what I mean? So, it is definitely going to be faster than it's ever ran before. And it's going to require some looking into the rules to see what that, that means that I need to do. But this is Legacy. Legacy will be in Missouri at the No Name Nationals. September and uh, truly, truly excited about that. Uh, I had some conversations with some of the guys that participated in the No Name Nationals last night, and it seems like a really good, uh, it seems like a really good group of folks, and I'm excited to meet some of them in person. At the end of the day, I just want to have fun and. I want racing to be fun again. Somehow, over the last couple of years, uh, for me, and it's nothing about anywhere I've been or anything like that. It's just, it's a personal battle over the last couple of years. It just, it just hasn't had that fun level that it used to have. And I'm, I want to get back to, to fun with this car. And that's what we're chasing. So I look forward to seeing you in uh missouri in september for the no name nationals and you know i'd like to be cool like some of these other guys and you know call somebody out and all that but honestly i haven't had a chance to figure out who everybody is and what cars they have and all that yet uh so i <laughs> i'm just getting in the game so i don't know I don't know who would be a good match, but I'll say all steel, all glass, all motor, and a four-speed. If your car sets like mine and you want to have fun, reach out and let me know, and we'll we'll filter through some of them. And uh, at the end of the day, good close racing is always fun, and. Uh, I don't know what else I can say, but uh, we look forward to seeing everyone in Missouri in September, No Name Nationals 2024 with Legacy, possibly on the back of the ramp truck, just because the visual of this car on that ramp truck is silly cool. I hope the Lord blesses y'all more today than he did yesterday. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you to all the folks who have subscribed to the channel. Uh, in the coming weeks, there will be a lot of videos on us building the motor for this thing. And then uh, when the weather starts warming up, we start testing. I got to find some 28s. Hey, if somebody has some Hoosier... 28 by 9, 28 by 9 and a half. Hit me up. I I gotta find I gotta find some 28s because I gotta do some testing on 28s this year. I have no idea what to do on 28s. I um yeah, I I gotta test on 28s. I have no idea what I have no idea what yeah, I got nothing.
Hey guys, as I said, I hope the Lord bless you more today than he did yesterday. God bless each and every one of you. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. If you have not, you don't realize how much that actually helps me. Hit the little thumbs up, drop a comment if you want to. Uh, man, we're, we're excited about the No Name Nationals. As more details become available, as more updates come around, I will let you know. And uh, we're headed out. Uh, we're going to do this thing. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So we'll see you on the next one. I'd say he's a nut job. <laughs> <laughs>